In Washington, a bipartisan group of senators has repeatedly failed to pass through Senate a law that would prevent future U.S. presidents from withdrawing from NATO without Senate's approval. What actions will you take to assure Finland that the U.S. will remain a reliable NATO partner for decades to come? I absolutely guarantee it. There is no question. There's overwhelming support from the American people. There's overwhelming support from the members of the Congress, both House and Senate, in both parties, notwithstanding the fact there's some extreme elements of one party. We will stand together. The American people known for the since the end of World War II and the formation of NATO that our security rests in the unanimity among European and transatlantic partner, us. And so this is, you know, no one can guarantee the future, but this is the best bet anyone could make. And my second question on that note to uh, Mr. President Niinistö, uh, hearing this answer that no one can guarantee a future, are you worried that the political instability in the U.S. will cause issues in the alliance in the future? Let me be clear. I didn't say we didn't guarantee it. We couldn't guarantee the future. You can't tell me whether you're going to be able to go home tonight. No one can be sure what they're going to do. I'm saying as sure as anything can possibly be said about American foreign policy, we will stay connected to NATO. Connected to NATO beginning, middle and end. We're a transatlantic partnership. That's what I've said. It seems that uh, the president has answered your problems. But um, I have to tell you that um, during this process, I met uh, approximately uh, president many times, but uh, uh, I would say about 50 people from Congress and Senate. And uh, I think the message was quite clear, quite united. And uh, I have no reason to doubt about uh, USA policies in the future. Let me say one more thing. We learned a hard lesson. Peace and security in Europe is essential to U.S. security and peace. The idea that there could be conflict in Europe among our friends and us not engaged has never happened in modern history. That's why we're staying together.